everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Muji retractable gel pens. Muji USA so kindly contacted me and wanted to send me these pens to review and I'm so excited to do so. Now I'm not being sponsored by Muji and they didn't ask me to make this video but because our community loves Muji pens so much I figured why not give it my best review and really tell you guys about these new pens and what makes them different from the old ones. So getting right into the review, these pens are freaking gorgeous. I think they scream Muji with their frosted-like pen body and minimalistic design. They have the pen tip size on the top in 0.5, and you can click this to reveal the nib or ballpoint pen or whatever you want to call it. Each pen comes with a little wax ball on the top to keep the ink from drying out and protect the point from any damage. So the big question for me and probably for you guys is, how is this different? from the Cat Muji gel pens that our stationery community adores so much. Immediately we can see that the new Muji pen comes in way more colors than the old Muji pens. We have about 16 shades for the new Muji pens and about 12 shades for the old pens. I sound like I'm talking about makeup right now and that's how you know I love to watch makeup tutorials. Anyway, getting back on track. So probably the biggest difference between these two pens is how you expose the tip of the pen. For the new pens, we just click the button at the top and you're ready to write. For the old pens, you have to remove a cap and try not to lose it. So like for me, I always find the caps of my Muji pens rolling under my desk because I like to knock everything off my desk while I'm working. In a side by side view, the body of these pens look pretty similar. However, the new Muji pen is made of a few extra materials. On the Muji website, the body of this pen is made of polycarbonate, ABS resin, steel, and polypropylene while the older pen body is made of just polypropylene. Hopefully I said all these right. So somehow this new body pen composition makes for a more smooth body of the pen. So you're gonna have less of a grip while you're writing. So if your hands are sweaty, mom spaghetti, or you're drenched in stress sweat during an exam like me, be careful with this pen because it might slip around. And to be fully honest, the smoothness of this new barrel kind of almost feels cheap. Something about smoothness kind of reminds me of cheap plastic, but I think the aesthetic of this pen really makes up for that cheaper feeling. So what you already see me doing is I wanted to check the inside of this pen. The points of the pen seem to look exactly the same, so it seems to me that they're going to write very similarly. Originally I thought that the new Muji pen could not have ink replacements and you couldn't undo it, but I eventually figure out how to get the ink out of this new pen. When I took out the ink cartridges of both of the pens, they looked exactly the same. Being the detective that I am, I wanted to put these new pens and the old pens to the test and see how they perform against each other. I'm going to swatch these pens in an Archer and Olive notebook, which has almost a sketchbook-like thickness to the pages. So with that kind of thickness to the notebook, I'm not expecting any ghosting with these pens. So starting off this swatch with the new Muji pens, I was immediately taken aback with how smooth this pen writes. I swear it's like Muji has some weird magic ink, like they just take butter sticks, dye it black, and fill that in their pens and then they sell that. But this new pen writes super nice. It feels honestly smoother than the old gel pens, but it might be because my old gel pens are, well, they're old. So it's very much possible that my older gel pens have dried up a little and that might be why they're not writing as smoothly as these new gel pens. So like I said before, these new Muji pens come in way more colors than the older gel pens. There's like different shades of each one, like different kind of blues, different kind of pinks, which is really nice because you get a wider variety with these new pens. Now that I'm done this swatch, I'm going to turn on my desk lamp and check the back of this page for ghosting. And I thought I saw something, but I realized it was just smudges from my nasty fingers and there was no ghosting. So hey, that's great. but. Then again, the pages of this notebook is really thick, so I wasn't really expecting any ghosting. So if you're using like a Loish term or something like that, you might see ghosting with these pens. Moving on to the old Muji pen swatches, the ink definitely feels a lot drier in comparison to the new pens. But something that I noticed about the new Muji pens was that the brighter inked colored pens were a lot drier in comparison to the blacks, blues, and other darker colors. I'm not sure whether there's a different kind of ink mix to make the lighter colors, but I'm guessing that this might be the cause of that difference. 
So because I noticed this difference in the pen ink dryness or wetness, I wanted to do a smear test to figure out what's going on here. So for the smear test, I performed three different trials for the new pen and the old pen. For the first test, I'm going to run my finger through the black pen's ink immediately after I'm finished writing, then 10 seconds after writing, then one minute after writing. The ink ended up smudging after every test, the worst being when I ran my finger through the ink immediately after I was done writing. So if you're a lefty, this might not be the pen for you. Because I felt that the brighter colored ink of the new pens was more dry in comparison to the old pens, I wanted to do a smear test for the brighter colors as well. I chose to do pink and yellow ink to try out those pens, but nothing really happened. It definitely did not smear as much as the black ink pens, so if you're a lefty, the bright colors might actually be your way to try out these pens. Moving on to the old gel pen, I did the same test and found that they smudged similarly, but a tiny bit more. I think it also depended on the amount of pressure that I was using when I was trying to smear them because I can't really control the amount of pressure that I'm using. So for the results of this test, I'd probably say that the smearing for the black ink pens are about the same. So lastly, I'm going to try the brighter colors of the capped old Muji gel pens. And I found that these actually smeared more than the brighter colored new gel pens. And I was really kind of confused about that. So I feel like there might be a difference between these two ink types. And I asked Muji about this, whether there really was a difference between the two Muji pens. And they told me that the ink was the same for the old and the new Muji pens. So take it as you will, I feel that there's a difference between at least the brighter colored Muji pens. So to sum up my thoughts, I think these pens are great, both new and old. The new ones, they feel cheaper with the plastic, but it is a smoother feel, so it's whether you like that or not. I think, honestly, there's not too many differences between the new and old, especially for the ink. The new ink does feel a lot smoother than the old, but like I said, my old pens are older, so give them both a try and see what you think with both of them. So that's all I have for this review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell for future videos. You can check me out on Instagram at MaryBerryStudy, or if you want some stationary goodies, you can check me out on Patreon where I have lots of exclusive goodies that you can get for supporting me. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone!